Welcome, lively viewers, to Vegetarian Elite. On today's program, we are honored to feature the elegant and multi-talented American performing artist, Miss Trina Parks. An actress, vocalist, choreographer, dancer, and dance lecturer, Miss Parks has mastered all of these arts to perfection using her God-given gifts and extraordinary perseverance. Trina Parks and I was the first African American Bond girl slash villain. My character was Thumper and I am a vegetarian, strict vegetarian, strict vegan and I just love that you have Supreme Master Television because I'm definitely going to watch it because I agree with that. As a vivacious actress with a unique presence, Miss Parks has appeared in TV specials with famous American actors Dean Martin and Sammy Davis Jr. She is perhaps most praised and remembered until today for making cinematic history as the first African-American woman featured in a James Bond film, Diamonds Are Forever, starring Scottish actor Sean Connery. Born to dance, Miss Parks has mastered multiple dance styles and traveled the world as the lead performer with a number of prestigious dance companies. On top of it all, Miss Parks has been a vegetarian and now a vegan for over 34 years. Although having passed on when Miss Parks had just been born, her mother, an interior decorator, had somehow intuitively known that her unborn daughter would become a performing artist. Miss Parks' father was a great jazz musician who was constantly on tour yet made the time to instill in Miss Parks knowledge that would bring to life her mother's words. You're a multi-talented artist sensation, an actress, vocalist, choreographer, principal dancer, and dance instructor. You grew up with a famous saxophonist father and graduated from the New York High School of Performing Arts with a major in modern dance with the Martha Graham Technique. Do you consider yourself born to be a performer? Because you're certainly talented. <laughs> well, actually, it was so funny because I was told by my uh, aunt that my mother said that I was going to be a performer. Really? And I actually found this out in my adult life. It had to be maybe 25 years ago. Yeah. She told me this. <laughs> wow. You've worked with many different dance companies uh, as a principal dancer. How do you describe your evolution as a dancer through these many experiences? Oh my gosh, it was so many. Uh, starting out at the High School of Performing Arts, mm. um, I, I did my audition for the High School of Performing mm. in New York, but mm. I wasn't sure if I really wanted to do this dance or not, yeah. because ironically, I also applied for the Bronx High School of Science. <laughs> two, two completely separate completely fields. Separate. Okay. I was very good in, in um, getting projects together, mm -hmm. terrible in math, but <laughs> I just was good in science. I just applied for all these three mm -hmm. schools and all, mm -hmm. I, you know. I was accepted in the Bronx High School of Science. Uh, I obviously was accepted in, in, um, in uh, High School of Performing Arts, and then they asked me to come back and do the dance again. <laughs> anyway, that's how it all started in mm -hmm. the school. I had the most wonderful teachers, a Graham teacher, uh, Martha Graham teachers. One was um, Norman Walker, who was in her company and mm -hmm. uh, one of her dancers in the, uh, let's say, 50s. Celebrated American choreographer Miss Martha Graham developed a dance technique that went beyond the tradition of classical ballet and pioneered the field of modern dance. Mr. Norman Walker is another choreographer with a living legacy. Miss Trina Parks learned from the best of the best. Uh, Moth Graham used to come to the school periodically oh, really? and teach. Right. Uh, Helen Tamaris, which mm -hmm. was in her company, was one of our guest teachers, and I ended up being a soloist in at my senior year, yes. uh, doing her spiritual 
uh, uh, um, Negro spirituals she choreographed way back in the 30s, late 30s. Right. I was chosen to do a Swing Low Sweet Chariot, and they're yeah. on real in Performing Arts Library in New York. But, um, and that started that thing going for me, because mm -hmm. from there um, I met Pearl Lang. I used to go to the uh, Graham School in New York. Mm -hmm. Sometimes after school I would take classes at the Graham School down in the village in New York. And I also started going to Katherine Dunham uh, School, which wow. is a completely different technique. It sounds like you've worked very hard in your, in your oh, career. Oh, that I was all about dance. Yeah. I was all about dance. Miss Park shares some of her memorable and humorous moments of performing live on stage. Tales that reveal her winning spirit. I was uh, with the Chester Whitmore Dance uh, Black Ballet Jazz Company. And, uh, we were touring uh, Europe. This was oh, about around the 80s. I was wearing high heels in the number that I was doing. Yeah. To, it, was, it was my solo song and dance number, right? So I sprained my ankle. But anyway, I came out on stage uh, uh, hopping. Oh my goodness. With the cast on, and I kind of stood stood the I sat on the edge of the stage and I did the whole dance sitting on like on the edge of the stage. What? I was doing what's love got to do with it. And uh, yeah, and then I uh if I go down the side and I lifted the leg up like that. Oh my and goodness. Go, things <laughs> like that, you know. And that's and the, and the crowd was just roaring. <laughs> So the show must go on was oh, really true. But Nimni had a heart as big as a whale. Hotty, 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 I kept going. Now you're talking about 3,000 or more people. Now they knew backstage that something was going on with the music and they said, oh my gosh. I kept singing louder and louder. So many in the booth. And a whole audience, I mean, they were wow. just clapping. I, I, I mean, I didn't do, I just kept going. I mean, what are you yeah. going to stand there? Mm, okay, where's the music? No! No! You got an audience there! So I just kept going and going and louder and louder and I got to the right very end section of the song mm -hmm. and I and the music came back on and I was right on, in, on to in the harmony. music. Wow. I surprised myself. Wow. <laughs> and I was, oh God, I thank you, God. I <laughs> and I got a standing ovation. I was I bet you so did. happy and I just yeah. I almost clapped myself <laughs> you know, when I was leaving. That's amazing. I always feel yeah. that a true singer really doesn't need music because your voice is the music itself, yeah, isn't it? That's really? Right. That's, that's so true. Yeah, right. yeah. And I've done Broadway, you know, a lot of Broadway mm -hmm. and the theater and all, and you project because you yeah, know how to yeah. breathe anyway from my dancing yeah, experience yeah. from the beginning yeah. of dancing, you're breathing from your abdomen, not your yes. stomach, yeah, yeah, all through, and it helps in your singing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, this is what I have been trained to do for years before. Yes. Yeah. So you project, you project to the last person in the audience. Yes. Yeah. So that's what I did. You well. Know? Miss Parks accredits a part of her natural abilities to her talented father, Mr. Charles Frazier, a jazz musician who performed with the legendary Duke Ellington and also played lead sax for the famous Cab Calloway Orchestra. When her father took young Trina to her first piano lesson when she was nine years old, little Trina jumped up from the bench and started to dance instead of staying seated to practice the piano. Needless to say, dancing came very natural to her from the very beginning. My father um, was in, uh, he was in Chicago with uh, Cab's, Cab's band when I was born. He taught me so very much about loving, about, and he's a musician, and he was, I mean, he's been around everything. He played with Cab Calloway. He was um, Jimmy Lunsford before that, Chris Calloway back in the 30s and 40s. But he knows, he knew all these, all the people, you know, the singers, you know, Dinah Washington. Uh, he played with, played at the Apollo several times, mm -hmm. you know, uh, 
Um, and he taught me to be very humble. Daddy didn't smoke, and he taught me those values, the values of being honest, being um, straightforward with people. I knew all kinds of music, because he taught music also. He taught classical music because he played the flute. He played all the wind instruments. He ate healthy. He did. Um, and, and he was so much of an influence to me, character-wise. He loved children. He loved animals. Miss Parks is indeed like father, like daughter, in more than a few ways. Absolutely. And I love animals. I've always had a cat. Yeah. I love cats. I love all animals. I get along with them really well. I think they, you know, they're like children, you know, they're in innocent uh, creatures. And, yes. uh, and they're loving, and unless they have a master that makes them not, I think that they're most, in most cases, they are. Yeah. You know, and they can be wonderful, wonderful companions, especially like the people in hospitals and mm -hmm. all. And you can mm -hmm. see how they have animals come to hospitals mm -hmm. and, and do that um, and befriend mm -hmm. the, uh, the people in yes. hospitals, the senior citizens and all. When did you it's become a, a vegetarian and, and why? Well, I've been a vegetarian mm -hmm. since about mm -hmm. 76. Mm -hmm. I met someone that was really way before his time. He was into the raw whole thing back, that was 70s, okay? And um, he started to educate, uh, educating me about meats and what was giving me a book to read and, uh, you know, when they do kill the animals, what animals poisons get into each one and the least is other fish. And so I would say it, in 76, I kind of, I weaned, stepped weaning off of all meats, and then the last was fish. And what changes have you noticed since becoming a vegetarian? I mean, I, I feel lighter. Yeah. <laughs> and a whole nother body feeling. You don't feel like you're sluggish, you know. I didn't really eat that much meat in, even before, fortunately. But, and I remember when I was doing this a Broadway, I was eating um, a hamburger, and that hamburger did something, it just, ah, it just messed my mm -hmm. stomach up, so I was thinking about some. I don't need all this stuff. I don't need this. My breakfast, I'll have okay, all organic foods, but I'll have like organic cereal and uh, I uh, drink uh, soy milk because I don't drink dairy, no dairy, and uh, I'll have um, uh, bl blueberries, uh, um, cranberries, and peaches in my cereal in the morning. At uh, five, after teaching, I'll come and I'll eat. Uh, maybe at six, maybe seven, something. And I'll have uh, veggie, the veggie burger, some uh, greens. Um, I love collard greens, and I don't eat any fried foods. Uh, veggie franks, I get them at the health food store. Mm -hmm. um, uh, veggie chili. Everything that's, to me, a natural, coming from the earth, coming from nature all around, is the most healthy for mm -hmm. you as a, a, a human. Delightful viewers, this concludes today's edition of Vegetarian Elite. Please join us again next Saturday, February 26th, to find out more about the vibrant life and dazzling career highlights of the gorgeous vegan performance artist, Ms. Trina Parks. She'll share more about her thoughts on her plant-strong diet, what it's like being in a James Bond film, her spiritual outlook, and her work to inspire the next generation of performers. What goes in, you know, mm -hmm. you know, always shows out sure. on your face. Uh, a lot of people that have problems with their skin and all, mm -hmm. it's, it's what they eat. Mm -hmm. it, you know, it's a lot of what they mm -hmm. eat. And most of the time, if you're in, say, in line in your uh, life with mm -hmm. good spirits mm -hmm. and, and God-like qualities, um, you'll, you'll bring that to you. And it will show through your body, through your face, and through your actions, and all that. And that's the way I, I like to be. That's my story. That ends a song. She's a good old girl. Thank you for your pleasant company today. Coming up next is Between Master and Disciples, here on Supreme Master Television. 
May your inner beauty and grace shine forward to illuminate the world. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash V-E.